So welcome ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to today's video. And yes, I'm wearing this because it's so damn hot in my house still. It's like, it was like 87 degrees yesterday, so I'm having to wear this. You guys get to enjoy the show or you don't. You choose. It's up to you. But I'm so hot, folks. Got the fans blowing there, the fans blowing there. It's all over the place. Uh, but today, we are going to be talking about eFootball very quickly. The new version 2.1 update, what's coming towards it sometime this month. Uh, and then we're going to check out this video comparing FIFA 23's graphics to eFootball 23's, right? This was done by this guy right here, El Analista de Bits, something like that. I'll leave the link for it in the description, of course, so go check it out if you would like to see the original. But it's a really good video. It compares both games. I want to talk about it, and that's what we're going to do. So without further ado, let's dive into the actual update itself for version 2.1. This is the confirmation, right? So introducing friend match in version 2.1. So it'll be introduced in the update. It's scheduled for early October, so could come this week. Or maybe next week, depends. Uh, in this mode, you'll be able to play online matches with your friends, finally. Uh, simply create a match room, tell your mates, if you've got any, that always helps, uh, and then have them join the room, and that's it. The invite function will be added in the future update. And it's madness that this is like the excitement that we're getting. A friend match, which I've never used myself, but I know a lot of people do like to play against their mates. And, you know, this, let's be honest, this is something that should have been in the game. If you went back and looked at how many, like, features have been removed from, like, Pez as a whole, well, I know this is eFootball, but it's still the developers of Pez, it's crazy. You know, games should be evolving and getting new features, and it's like they took away a lot of those features, they put out a very dumbed-down version of eFootball, and now they're slowly starting to incorporate, you know, the features that should have been in the game. But whatever, it is what it is, at least we're getting some content. There we go. And that's pretty much it, folks. There's nothing else um, to talk about for version 2.1. Crazy. All right, so let's move over to what we're here really to look at. I think this video does a really good example, uh, and I'll make myself a wee bit smaller in the corner so you can see a little bit more. So it shows you the lighting, right, of FIFA 23, and I want you guys to take note of not just the lighting itself, you know, the little touches with the shadows, but it's also the atmosphere, right? We're talking about the crowd, the banners and the flags at the back of the of the field and then you go across to eFootball and look how stale that is you know it's it's such a difference it's mind-boggling once again look at the atmosphere and then you go across and it's like Konami you are a long 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 way away away way uh, from getting close to what obviously EA uh, have put out and there's a direct comparison um, and yeah it's miles apart you know you can even even the turf I know there are certain elements in eFootball where nighting looks better than daytime or daytime looks better than nighttime, right? But still, when you look at the turf, I do. I will say that FIFA, for the longest time, I was so annoyed with the turf. that Then they finally started making it more luscious and green now, and it just it does look really nice. I do think FIFA feet are way too, fit, too big. Everyone in FIFA has clown's feet. I don't know why. Look at the size of that. What size shoe is that? But anyway, look at it. Beautiful. Uh, and then you go over to eFootball. It's not terrible. Once again, like the grass, and I'm sure he does a direct comparison between the two there side by side. I mean, his feet's kind of going through the turf. It's not terrible. The, the worst thing about this, you know, is the ball itself. I know you can't, small here, you can't really see me. The ball itself, it just looks like it's been stuck on. There's no like 3D element to it, whereas you've got shadows all over this ball. There's nothing going on with the eFootball ball, and it's the little things like that that can make the difference. Once again, like the shadows behind the calves, you know, behind where the shin pads are, behind it, the calf muscles, and then you go to eFootball, there is no shadows. Everything looks very two-dimensional, whereas FIFA, everything's looking a little bit more 3D. Probably the boots, honestly, on eFootball look a bit better than what you get on FIFA, but, you know, there you go. All right, let's bring myself back. Let's fast forward and get this thing going a little bit more. So there's a look at the textures themselves now i know that this is a proper next gen game and eFootball isn't once again there's the the models of the faces and it's crazy man you know i i i have a lot of a lot of promise with ea if they could fix the gameplay more and more and more and as i said before i do actually think fifa this year isn't bad i know it's crazy for me to say that 
But, like, they've got so much potential with everything else they do. The faces look mind-bogglingly good. Only with the real faces, though. Don't get me wrong. Default faces in FIFA are still shocking. Uh, and there's a long way to go with that. But you can compare. That one isn't actually a bad comparison. Uh, I actually think Trent Alexander-Arnold looks probably a little bit better uh, on eFootball. I don't know. Maybe he's constipated there uh, on FIFA. But I don't know. Alexander-Arnold always looks a little bit off in these games. Maybe it's his hairdo. Uh, there's the animations. Now, this is all about the way the ball... I mean, look at that. I mean, the, the foot kind of does go through the ball. But the way it kind of just... You know what I mean? The, the difference between the two. There's no movement in the eFootball ball at all. Uh, it's, it's a round object. I mean, I don't even know if that looks round. But yeah, there's not a huge difference. You can tell. The, what do they call that? Def defamation? of the ball i don't know what they call it but either way fifa 23 yeah we know mine mind-boggling better there uh moving forward they're showing you kind of the hair once again there's no movement on eFootball at all uh, and you've got some of the craziest hair physics known to man uh, in fifa well, we're not talking about ball physics here folks this is strictly about graphics textures lighting uh, that type of stuff. But I really do think this video does a very, very good job. Go over to the actual video right now and give it a like. Um, I'm not trying to take any credit for this. I just like to talk over the top of stuff uh, and showcase them because some people may not have seen it. Once again, there's the lighting. It looks a little bit better, I think, in the daytime uh, on eFootball than it does at nighttime. Um, but it's more about the atmosphere. I wish Konami would do something with the fans and make the game look a little bit more lively there's no it just looks dead it looks dead uh, and once we move forward now to the animations of the two you know I mean, it's kind of similar-ish I, I, I still hold hope for eFootball and the animations and the unreal engine i think in turn it's going to come really good but it's going to take a bit of time before that happens. Whereas, you know, we know what EA have been doing with the hyper motion now for a couple of years. They already have their foot on the door uh, when it comes to that stuff. I mean, here it's just, it looks ridiculously good. That whole thing when he makes the save here, it's not even just, you know, his hand and the ball. It's like, watch his hair. His hair's free flowing. And then his hand actually pushes away from the ball. Um, whereas on eFootball, it's more of like the, the palm just stays there. And that's it. There's no yeah, there's no bend in the hand. I mean, our hands do move, right? That's how we wave. Uh, but yeah, it's a uh, crazy difference. So there we have it. Let's move on a little bit further. There's a look at uh, Mohamed Salah. It's not too bad either or there. I think, you know, eFootball faces are all right at, at times. It's more of the, the beards uh, and obviously the hair physics themselves. I mean, there's... Uh, Who's that, Kratos or Sergio Ramos? One or the other. Uh, moving on to the animations once again, you can see, I will say, FIFA does have some nice player ID. Th they do. Even the likes of Malassia at Manchester United. I don't know, it feels more like him. Konami, you've got to work on that player ID. You know, you've really been lacking on that over the last couple of years, and you want certain players to feel like themselves. We know Haaland has that, mm, I'm going to murder you type running animation. Uh, there's nighttime on FIFA and there's nighttime on eFootball. I mean, you know, eFootball doesn't look dreadful again. Just needs a little bit more reworked. It's just, I think it's more of the turf has more of a natural look about it because all the lighting and like there's a little bit lighter here and darker here. Whereas in eFootball, everything is kind of just one color. So you're not getting that different variation of shades, which in turn, well, obviously make the lighting look a little bit better. Uh, once again, daytime in FIFA looks good. Mohamed Salah, what is he doing there? What's going on? Having a stretch. Uh, and in the daytime, yeah, it looks a bit poorer And eFootball. I know I sound like I'm slagging off eFootball here. I mean, I'm not. I'm just being honest with you. FIFA 23 is a full next-gen game on PS5. You've got to remember, eFootball is still catering towards that mobile side, folks. Uh, and that's why we where we are where we are. Uh, there were some animations. You can still see kind of how he gets i mean that if you did that in a match your ankle's broken i mean completely look at that that's all over the shop uh, and then i don't know what happens there there's that sliding animation that just looks all wrong so yeah fifa still has those issues but when you when you don't when you slow it all down it looks tits when you do it in real time it doesn't look that bad you can see there were players now they do i mean they do dive pretty natural uh, and because of the hyper motion tech, you are going to get more animations than you are going to get in eFootball. Not to say eFootballs are bad, but a lot of them, as we know, are recycled 
from the old PES games. Konami need to start ramping up their animations. As soon as they do, eFootball will become a different beast. It really will, because animations, they're so important. Uh, there's the two differences in kind of the dirt uh, and in the two different players there with uh, Danilo and what's her name. Once again, the hair physics, non-existent, absolutely non-existent in eFootball. I don't think we're going to see any proper hair physics for a long, long time. But FIFA's got them working very, very nicely. Which, I'll say, it's not major. It's not like you play a game and you go, right, I'm getting FIFA 23. Why? Because of the hair physics. Why else? No, you get it because you want to enjoy the game. But these are little touches that, in turn, do make the overall experience uh, a little bit more enjoyable. Uh, the introductions... For the two games, I think it's night and day. We all know how good the presentation is of FIFA compared to eFootball. eFootball's still using the same recycled stuff. Uh, we're having a look at some uh, physics. I mean, the net physics. Let's not even go there. FIFA has some of the best net physics I've ever seen or witnessed. And then you've got eFootballs, which have gone backwards. Uh, let's be honest there. But FIFA 23. It's not just the net physics in FIFA 23. It's the sound especially in the controller and you can tweak it by the way if you want to make the controller a little less um what's the word loud you can actually put the volume down but you hear it in the controller when you score when you hit the post there's a sound the aromas the atmosphere i'm just making up words now but you can hear it and it sounds nice right little touches you know they're using the ps5 controller because that's how it's meant to be used as you can see right here sliding in eFootball does absolutely nothing um, to the grass, but if you do slide in FIFA 23, they start leaving little marks. That only happens, by the way, on the PS5 version. The PS4, it does not have um, those touches. There's the player models with Verratti. Mm, it's not too bad. I mean, the lighting's the better part there, but they look pretty good. Allison, I think Allison actually looks more like himself here. I don't know. He doesn't look that well good face-wise there uh, on FIFA 23, but he's got great hair. The best a man can get. There it is. The lighting once again. Uh, what else do we have here? Let's see. So, yeah, it's just kind of going through. Check out the original video if you would like to. Uh, but really, just comparing the two, there's, there's, there's just such a big difference. And Konami, we'll see what they do next year. Uh, I'm going to give them more, more chances and hope because, you know, they are still on this new Unreal Engine and, and I really wouldn't expect anything massive to happen until next year. Uh, this time next year, I want to see a huge development in eFootball. Massive. We should have Master League out, obviously edit mode, and uh, we should be sitting there and actually enjoying the game. You've got 12 months, uh, Konami, uh, to sort this out and give us something that we really enjoy. Not to say eFootball isn't enjoyable. I've had, I've had some great games on it, and I still love the gameplay to a point, but there's not enough to do. And uh, yeah, FIFA just... Even the dribbling, you can see now the way the players dribble. I, there's something about FIFA's 23's dribbling, by the way, that I actually enjoy. And I'm gonna when I start talking about when I put out my video with slow versus normal, I'm gonna talk about this because a lot of FIFA YouTubers don't like the dribbling. And you know why? Because it's more like Pez's dribbling. It's slower. You actually have to think about things when you dribble instead of just going, you know, with a with an analog stick, which I love. I love that FIFA YouTubers are annoyed about the dribbling because leave it alone, EA. Anyway, there's the player models once again. You know, I think eFootball there actually looks... Neymar's face here looks more like a long sausage. Uh, whereas eFootball, it looks a little bit more... Uh, more normalized. Anyway, folks, that's all it for today. I'm not going to go over this too much more. Check out the initial video. But the clarification is simple. Uh, you know, FIFA 23 is, is a walk in the park. You can see the way eFootball kind of picks the ball up. It's not an easy thing to get that animation, by the way. Uh, of grabbing the ball but you know here we are anyway let me know your thoughts which ones you prefer which ones looks better we'll be back very very shortly this week i'm going to be cranking out the content once i get ac we will start streaming because i really have enjoyed fifa and there is potential but and i'll say this with a big but patches exist nowadays and i am concerned about what EA could do with patches to this game. Once again, I actually think Van Dyke looks better in eFootball there. And anyway, let me know your thoughts. We'll be back shortly. Till next time, subscribe for more. Hope you enjoyed the shirt. Take care.